thanks for watching Numbskull News. And today, we got to talk about Super League again. Because why not? It's like a rash. It's like a herpes outbreak. Every once in a while, here it comes. Well, this time, Andrew Marchan is the one who infected us <laughs> with the news. It was interesting, though, that you got people from the NFL, even, you know, the... Whatever it is, the, the, the low-ranked commissioner, the assistant commissioner, whoever the hell. And several other people all throughout the sports landscape have been planning the Super League, coming up with ideas. Only to be summarily dismissed. Because it's horse crap. <laughs> Look. I, I, and I get some people really want this to happen, right? Like Monty. Now, apparently, he did get a little wind of some of this and said, oh, it's coming. No doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> that's where he's full of shit. Look, Monty, I'm sure he does have some sources. Yeah, all right, he, he hears a little of this. He hears a little of that. And then what does he do? Turns it into clickbait and then fills everybody full of dog shit. That's what he does. If you want to be a fan, be a fan. I get it. Me, I think I'll watch something else. <laughs> but I wanted to make sure to give him a little credit. Uh, the Super League, though, it's never going to work. All right. For the biggest reason, the um, let me let's let me start with the biggest damn reason it's never going to work, the money, because in this super league, you know, what are people getting paid? What's the breakdown? No one ever talks about that. What is the breakdown of of, of a super league? You know, is, is Ohio State going to make what Kansas does? Does Alabama? Are they going to make what Virginia Tech does? Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm highly doubt that. Right? So whatever your super league, look, 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 look. The proposal is like a blend of the NFL and the Premier League and all kinds of crap, right? Well, why does the NFL work? Because everybody makes the same percentage out of the NFL media rights deal. All right. Does everyone understand that? All the franchises make the same. Now, they can go out and get other revenue streams, right? So really, the Browns and the Dallas Cowboys make the same money. Except the Cowboys have a lot more revenue streams. So they are worth a lot more money. They make a lot more money. But on the media rights, which is a ton of money for the NFL, they make the same. They make the same money. And in this, you know, BS Super League, right, that, that now Andrew Marchand's writing about, you can't do that. All right, because your Blue Bloods are not absolutely not going to take one cent less than what they're making right now. As a matter of fact, in the future, they set it up to where they can make more money. So how does that freaking work? How does the postseason break down? Because right now they're making, you know, all the Big Ten and all the SEC teams are making more than everybody else. Not just media rights, but also the CFP. So that's got to remain the same, doesn't it? Doesn't it? So what's the Big 12 going to make? Or former Big 12? Because you know now there's no conferences anymore. But what are those teams going to make? What, what is the ACC teams going to make? What's the Pac-2 going to make? Are they going to make the same? You know, is, is ESPN, Fox, NBC, CBS, is everyone going to step up to make sure everybody makes this huge amount of money? I, I seriously... Doubt that. What would happen is you would have this Super League and you would have an unequal revenue split, essentially the same that it is now. 
So how does that help anybody, anywhere, anytime? And as a matter of fact, it makes it more complicated for the former Big Ten schools and the former SEC school, SEC schools to keep making the same money. As a matter of fact, it couldn't happen. Is Vanderbilt going to keep making what they make? Is Mississippi State going to keep making what they make? How about Rutgers? How about Purdue or Northwestern or Indiana? Are they going to keep making what they make? Or is that going to have to get knocked down to pay other people more? See what I'm saying? The money is too complicated. It can't be equal because there's not a big enough pie for everyone to get equal slices of it. That's the problem. The pie being media rights money. There's not enough. Not enough of the entire market to pay everybody like Ohio State and Michigan. That money doesn't exist. So, if that can't happen, and then it's hard to track who in the Big Ten and the SEC are going to keep making their same amount of money. You see, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And you can keep thinking all you want. Well, if we can get a little bit of Amazon, if we can get a little bit of... No. No. No, no, no. That's not going to happen. Because the networks that control all of this content, they don't want to lose control of it. <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is real stupid. Okay? So... That's one point. That's the biggest point. I wanted to lead with that. Because I know everybody only watches about five or six. Not everybody, but a lot of people only watch about five or six minutes of my videos. I wanted to make sure I get the biggest point off. <laughs> I don't build up to it. I wanted to hit, hit you with the biggest point. The money. You can't get over the money breakdown. And if it's going to be all this unequal revenue per team to then it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You, you might as well keep it like you got it. Because that's what we have right now. Unequal revenue. But wait, let's don't stop there. There's more problems than just the money. There's a uh, history. There's a lot of history between the Big Ten, the SEC, the Big 12, the ACC. No one's going to voluntarily rip their conferences apart. <laughs> All right. The SEC has been building the SEC for decades upon decades. So is the Big Ten. They're not going to be willing to shed all of that and to rip all that out for this new Super League. Because it's more than just a brand. It's more than just a logo on a t-shirt or a hat. All right, these schools in the Big Ten, especially, are bounded by education. These are schools, after all. They re they do tons of research together. They like being bound together. They like they like the status. Okay, there's a lot of status there's, uh, of being in the Big Ten or the SEC. Not always the same reasons, but there's a lot of ties that bind these schools together and have bound them together for a very very long time. So no especially the big two, they're not going to rip themselves apart to be part of the Super League. So that's another thing you can just, uh, you, you need to come up with something else because it's not going to work. Sorry, there's too much tradition. I understand we're wrecking a lot of college football tradition as it is, but uh, some of it's going to live on for a long time. And that's, and a conference affiliation, that's a big one. And now let's talk about uh, relegation, all right? I know a lot of people have been kind of obsessed with the relegation stuff. I've read it in the comments. Hey, we need this, or it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> people want it to happen. That's a Premier League thing, right? It's not going to work. It's not going to work in college sports. It's not going to work in college football, especially it's not going to work. And the biggest reason is, if you have a tier two league, like you got the top tier that's, that's 60 or 70 teams, and then under that you have whatever that second tier league is, 
well, they're not going to make the same money, are they? As a matter of fact, there's a lot of different tiers of money, but let's just keep it at that. The problem there is these schools, they go into massive debt for college, you know, stadium renovations or building a new stadium and not just for their football. The football pays for all the other sports outside of men's basketball and to a some degree women's basketball provides at least pays for themselves but everybody else are sucking on the uh the old college football teat so you you need to know what money you have coming in and if you have relegation i mean what is that it, it doesn't make sense for it to only happen maybe every 10 years probably gonna be what every two three four years but in these schools, they plan their budgets five years out. So what are they going to do when they don't know if they're going to be relegated or not? You know, if you're a lower rung school who's not having a good time of it. I get it. The Super League sounds like a cool idea. But on so many levels, it just doesn't work and would not work. This is why, this is why, you know... <laughs> People in the Big Ten, the SEC, or the Big 12 will basically wipe their ass with that proposal. Because none of it makes sense. Not for what college football is. Alright? You can't just make this thing one big pro league. Because it's not the pros. You think some of these kids are gonna, they're getting paid now. Right There's always been a lot of money in college football. Now there's even more money in college football. There's probably going to be some, you know, uh, some kind of profit sharing, revenue sharing with these student athletes. But let's not forget, they're students. They're in school. You know, these uh, red shirt freshmen, they're 18 years old, 18, 19 year old kids who don't know Jack about life, about money, about anything. They haven't lived long enough to know anything. These aren't pro athletes. They're still amateurs. They're still not... Very rarely do you ever see a freshman or a sophomore that's actually ready for the NFL. Mentally, physically, in any kind of way. Fundamentally, knowing the game, knowing their position, all... No. 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 They don't know it on that level. Most will never even get a shot at that level. Most of them need the education that is provided to them for playing football. Because they're not going to be drawing an NFL check. <laughs> they're going to be out here with us making a living. So, no, this isn't the pros. There's no Super League coming. However you want to see it, it's not going to happen. Because it's stupid. Ill thought out. None of it works. The money doesn't work. Completely abandoning all of college foot football history and tradition doesn't work. And relegation, I'm sorry. It doesn't work for the business model of college football. Universities. Not a pro league. Not a pro league at all. So, I hope everyone enjoys the article. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of videos out there put out there when people are pontificating about a possible super league of the future. Well, keep on doing that. All right, keep on doing it. And you know what? And hold your breath till it happens. Okay, just make sure... You got your burial plot already picked out. Because it ain't going to happen before that does. I'll tell you that. Anyway, thanks for watching this crap. And I'll be back with some other crap some other time. Bye.